and today we're going to take a look at one of our more popular uh, weather stations the WS6446 from Technoline Germany it's a neat little desktop uh, tabletop weather station uh, which incorporates a clock it shows both indoor and outdoor temperature um, also has indoor humidity and it also has a pictorial um, weather forecast based on uh, air pressure, changes in air pressure, just like a good old fashioned barometer. Okay, so here's the unit, as I say, it's from Techline Germany, the WS6446. It comes in a very nice uh, presentation box, which is all cardboard and environmentally friendly, by the bubble wrap. Okay, uh, so in the box we get the weather station itself, okay, which is uh, freestanding for desktop or or table uh, for instructions in multiple languages we get uh, the wireless temperature sensor which is a uh, can be uh, normally placed outdoors but of course it can be maybe just another another uh, location within a house or, or premises and we get uh, power supply it's mains operated um, so it comes with a UK power supply. Uh, European customers buying this would, uh, of course, get the two-pin European plug. But for UK customers, it's a three-pin UK power supply. Okay. So the wireless sensor is uh, battery operated. The indoor sensor is uh, mains operated. So let's start by just powering up the uh, wireless sensor. It's battery operated. Two um, AAA batteries. Okay, so let's just pop a couple of batteries in there um, and we'll just put that to the side for one moment. We'll power up the, uh, the unit with the mains adapter. Okay, it comes with quite a long lead so you, know, you can tuck down the back of a cabinet or a sideboard, uh, or bedside cabinet, where, wherever. Okay, so as you can see it's a nice clear color screen. In fact let's take this uh, protective strip off so you can see um, the screen a little clearer. So you can see in, uh, from the top uh, it's just uh, just uh, detected it now in fact. This is uh, the outdoor temperature sensor okay and it's uh, showing 28.2 uh, degrees. Uh, we've got indoor temperature showing in yellow um, and the relative humidity indoor down below we've got the time and we've got the uh, the date and the day of the week but we haven't configured that yet so uh, we'll come back to that in a moment you can change all the um, settings on the clock the clock is in fact a radio control clock so it will automatically detect the time but uh, normally it will take maybe a few minutes or sometimes even longer up to 10 minutes to actually detect the radio control time so at the moment it's showing no time at all, it's just counting up, it's one minute in fact since we powered it up and that will increase. But you can see the little symbol down here which is flashing, which is just indicating that it's looking for a timing signal. And as soon as it detects that it will, um, it will show the time, okay. But while we're waiting for that to happen, um, let's step through some of the modes and the functions of the clock, okay, uh, of the weather station. So if we look on the back we've got a few... Uh, buttons here mode channel come back to channel in a moment minimum maximum and RCC RCC is for the uh, radio control time okay but what I'm going to do I'm going to press and hold the mode button to get in I'm going to show you how to change the modes on the clock I'm going to use these two buttons plus and minus up and down to change the settings okay so I'm going to press and hold the mode button if you watch the screen I'm going to press and hold it you watch the screen you'll see that it will change slightly. There you go. So we're just going to go through the options that we've got on the clock, okay? We've got, um, can I display the time 12 hour or 24 hour um, display? So we're going to leave it as 24 hour. We can set the time offset. Now this is quite important, okay, but I'm actually going to come back to that later. At the moment it's flashing at zero, zero. This is actually important, as I say, I will come back to that later, but uh, it will mean not too much at the moment so let's move on we can set the hour okay 
we can just go through and set the time as you'd expect and to set it 17 and press the mode button again to get onto the minutes 17 30 17 30 two at the moment so just as you'd expect uh, to set the the time uh, we can set the year of course it's 2019 now uh, we can set the uh, month okay it's August at the moment we're going to set the day sorry I've gone too far it's a seven. and then see it flashing GER this is the language so this is the language that the days of the week will be displayed in okay so uh, we're in the UK so we want Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday etc so we'll just step through it, we've got French, Italian, Dutch, Spanish, Danish and there we go English okay and if you miss it you just keep pressing the buttons on the back and it just toggles around what I'm doing is I'm pressing these two buttons here one's going one way and one's going the other way okay so I've pressed and held the mode button to get into the modes and then I'm just pressing these two buttons here to step through okay so let's go keep going around so if you miss it just keep going it goes around so we'll set that for English press the mode button we can display the temperature in um, centigrade or Fahrenheit okay so some like centigrade some like Fahrenheit personally I prefer centigrade so I'm going to leave that in centigrade and there we go press the mode button and we're back around again okay so Again, starting from the top here, we've got uh, indoor temperature, uh, sorry, outdoor temperature, sorry, indoor temperature in yellow and the relative humidity. We've got the time, uh, we said it's 24 hour, you could of course set, set that to 12 hour, so that would be saying 7.33 um, p.m. Um, the day of the uh, day of the month and the month, okay, so that's UK format, so that will be day and then month and then of course we've just got the um, days days of the week there okay now up at the top here this is uh, quite interesting and this is essentially a pictorial weather forecast okay and it's a forecast based on changes in um, air pressure okay so that's measured by the internal air pressure sensor okay so at the moment it's showing um, an arrow which is just a horizontal arrow so that's indicating there's no change. So at the moment it's showing full sun and cloud. So looking out the window today here in London, it's been just a cloudy, sunny day, you know, breaks in the cloud. So I guess that's pretty accurate, okay? But what will happen is, if it detects a change in the air pressure, okay, if there's um, fair weather on the way, the arrow will be pointing up, okay? If there's heavy weather on the way, the air will be pointing down okay and this will change so generally speaking if it's pointing down you'll start seeing rain falling from the clouds and maybe no sun if it's up you know it's fair weather on the way We've got some pleasant weather coming um, maybe dry weather we're going to see more of the sun and certainly less of the rain now as I say this is just a forecast based on air pressure we've had some customers o over over time um, saying well look it's, it's showing uh, the sun and it's uh, it's night time so why is the sun showing well it's not telling you that the sunshine you just look out the window and you can tell that what it's saying is that um, you know this is the forecast of how we see the weather changing likewise it might be a beautiful sunny day and this may be indicating uh, rain and an arrow pointing down and again a customer might say well you've got that wrong because it's it's clearly a beautiful day the sun shining it's not a bit of rain in sight but no it's subtle changes in the air pressure um, and there's heavy weather on the way so maybe tomorrow or, or the day after um, yeah you can get in rain so, so that's what's happening there okay okay um, there is an alarm feature uh, on the on the station so you may have it uh, as a bed bedside uh, weather station if so that can be quite handy you can set an alarm um, you've got a snooze button on the top okay snooze button and um, yeah just stop your alarm these although this is uh, 
mains operated, it can also it also has a battery backup facility. Okay, so you may have spotted the battery compartment on the back. So let me just put some batteries in there, and I'll just show you what that does. Okay, the there might be times when you've got it set for um, yeah, you've got the, the time set. You might have your alarm set, um, and you might lose the mains power. Okay, so say if you're having to reset it, it's got a battery backup. So put three AAA batteries in there now. It's optional, the backup. You don't need it. As you saw, it was working perfectly well beforehand, before I put the batteries in. But now I've put the batteries in. If I take the power out, the, um, the unit will still function. What it will do is it will dim right down, okay, uh, just to save power because it's running from batteries. But if I press the button on the top, it will fully illuminate. Uh, that be for approximately five seconds or so and you'll see that that will just um, turn back off okay so there are a number of reasons why that might be useful a you might never want to have it uh, mains operated and, and you're just quite happy to little press and you can see where you are or it might be you've lost the power for whatever reason you've had to move the unit or, or maybe you're traveling with it and it's not always going to be on mains power but that will maintain um, the temperature okay uh, and, and not just temperature, sorry, the, uh, the clock. Okay, so there we have it. A uh, very neat little unit. The weather station will also support up to three uh, temperature sensors. Okay, let me put it back on mains power so it doesn't keep switching off. Okay, you'll notice up here where it says out. Okay, and it's got a number one on the back there. The unit will support three separate temperature sensors now for most users you'll just have the one that comes in the box okay so you'll have this indoors that outdoors so you can just see you know how warm or cold it is uh, before you go out it's especially useful in the winter you know you can see exactly how cold it is do you need a coat or would you rather not go out at all okay um, but you may there are maybe times when you want to maybe see how warm is it in the greenhouse how warm it is in another another part of a you know, building or workplace or whatever so on the back of the unit one of the buttons here is the channel selection CH okay so if I press and release that you'll notice this number one will change to it's gone blank because there is no number two sensor number three okay so it can support three sensors now if you look actually inside the sensor there's a little switch up here uh, you can't see it probably, but it says it's one, two, and three. So you can say, right, I want this to uh, communicate on channel one, channel two, and channel three. By default, we'll be on channel one, and that's what we're set to there, okay? But that's a nice little feature. If you did want to get additional sensors, you can buy the sensor separately, and you can set the um, you know, the channel that it's going to operate on. As I say, by default, it's going to be channel one, and you're probably ever, only ever going to have one unit. So there we go, it's a very nice modern looking uh, temperature sensor, weather station, uh, indoor temperature, outdoor temperature, indoor humidity, uh, clock, date, it's all radio controlled so it's going to be second accurate. Oh in fact that's the one thing I did say I was going to show you which will make more sense. Okay. Because it's uh, picking up the uh, automatic radio timing signal, the clock can be set to any time zone. Okay, so the way we'll do that is if we look on the back of the clock, we'll go back into mode. Okay, so let me do it this way around. I'm press and hold the mode button. Wrong button. I'm going to press and hold the mode button. Here we go. To break into the uh, setup modes, let me try that again. Okay, I'm going to press. The right button this time okay the mode now i'm going to press it again now i've gone in to set the alarm let me just make sure i've got my finger on the right button all right let's do it again i'm going to press and hold the mode button press and hold there we go okay now i did say i was going to come back and explain what the zero zero is this is the time offset okay so again using the up and down arrow buttons you see that's gone to one two three and if I go the other way pressing the other button it's going to go down the other way now here's a subtle difference there's zero zero if I press the up button it goes to one if I press down and then go down again it goes minus one okay very important to note this minus one 
minus two, minus three, it'll go all the way around. So you can have plus or minus 12 hours from the offset, okay? Now, as this is the European timing signal, for the UK, we will set this offset to minus one, okay? Minus one, not one, minus one. So imagine if you go from the UK to mainland Europe, you know, France, Spain, Italy, Germany, um, you put your clocks forward, then when you come home, you take the hour back off. That's exactly what we've done here. So we'll just adjust that time offset, okay? So by default, that'll be zero, zero. The clock will be an hour faster if you're in the UK. Um, but once you're setting it up, you just set that to minus one. Okay, so that is in the UK time zone. And um, where you go. Okay, so there we have it. The WS6446 uh, weather station from Technoline, Germany. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.